One hundred weeks since she disappeared. One hundred times have I wanted to tell you. Nuru, Dusu, Dual Metamorphosis. Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir is one of the best animated series on television currently. Gabriel Agreste has repeatedly gone beyond the boundaries, trying desperately to achieve his goal. Adrian has fought many battles with his father, both as Hawk Moth and as Gabriel. Gabriel's desperation to achieve his goal over time has become a personal vendetta between him and the two superheroes, Ladybug and Cat Noir. What will be Gabriel's attitude towards his son when he does or doesn't achieve what he has pursued over the years? Will Adrian ever forgive him? In this video, we will dive into occurrences that tell us if Adrian will ever forgive his father. Welcome to Bug Paws TV, and let's get started. Did we just defeat him? Looks like we did. When Gabriel's wife fell into a coma, Gabriel began using the Butterfly Miraculous for evil to get the Ladybug and Cat Miraculous. Gabriel's desperation to bring back Emily quickly turned into a personal vendetta against him and Ladybug. The closest Gabriel had come to achieving his goal was in Season 5 in the episode Ephemeral, when he akumatized his son Adrian and manipulates him into giving him his Cat Miraculous. Unfortunately for Shadow Moth, Marinette is two steps ahead of him when she sends a message to Luca, telling him where the Sass Miraculous is. Sass uses his power of second chance and reverts the time, restoring balance to Perry. Gabriel's obsession with Ladybug is evident yet again in the episode Evolution, where Gabriel gets his hand on the Rabbit Miraculous, whose power is to travel back in time. Gabriel uses it to travel back in time to prevent Emily from using the Broken Miraculous. Instead, he gets distracted and goes after Ladybug and Cat Noir, intending to get their Miraculous yet again. This obsession on Gabriel's part cost him the time-traveling ability, which upsets Nathalie, his assistant. Gabriel lost the chance to save Adrian's mother again. When Adrian finds out about this chance his father had and doesn't take it because of his obsession, would Adrian ever forgive him? Throughout the series, Gabriel exploits his family members, friends, and confidants to get what he wants. After what happened to his wife Emily, one would think he would cherish those around him, especially his son. Gabriel on many occasions has put his son in harm's way by akumatizing him. In the episode Cat Blanc, in an alternative future, Cat Noir is conflicted between his loyalty towards his father and the girl he loves. Gabriel senses his emotions and akumatizes Adrian into Cat Blanc, a white cat-themed supervillain with the power of infinite destruction. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Cat Blanc, I'm giving you the infinite power of destruction. Together, you and I will seize Ladybug's miraculous and awaken your mother. Obey. I'm sorry, Ladybug. Seize her miraculous, my son. Later, Ladybug fixes her mistake by going back in time to erase her name Marinette from the gift card she left for Adrian, therefore erasing the alternative future, including Cat Noir's akumatization. Gabriel, in a specific way, also displays his love for Adrian. Like in the episode Gorzilla, Adrian frustrates his bodyguard so much so that he is being akumatized by Hawk Ma. His bodyguard being akumatized turns into Gorzilla, running around the city looking for Adrian. Are you my bodyguard? <sighs> Let go of Adrian right now! Stop! In a scene in the episode, Adrian is falling from a building. Hawk Moth already suspicious his son Adrian is Cat Noir, secretly pleads with Adrian to change so he won't die. When he sees that Adrian doesn't change into Cat Noir, he then orders Gorzilla to let go of Ladybug so he can save his son Adrian. Cat Noir, then transform, son. Please. Come on, son. Cat Noir, help! Drop Ladybug! In the next episode, Gabriel Agress, Felix, his nephew, is seen snooping around Gabriel's office. Gabriel, instead of simply sending his nephew out, goes ahead and threatens his nephew's life, therefore increasing whatever negative relationship that exists between them. Gabriel displays yet another lack of emotion towards a family member. In the episode Emotion, Gabriel hosts an annual event called the Diamond Dance. Tonight, Adrian's attending the Diamonds Dance, a society ball his father organizes every year for his most powerful friends and their children. But 
Why didn't he tell me about it? This event is exclusively for families of the highest social class to show off their children. As a Grandma Vanley, Emily, Emily's twin sister, has the right to an invitation, but Gabriel doesn't invite her. One would wonder why Gabriel is keeping Emily's part of the family distant. Regardless that she wasn't invited, Emily shows up to the event angry, yelling at Gabriel for treating her that way, disregarding the fact that she is family. After venting her anger, Emily pleads with Gabriel to help her find her son Felix. Gabriel, being the villain he is, doesn't help her. Instead, he has her escorted off the premises as though she is no one to him. Why are you rejecting us? This is not the place nor the time, Amelie. Natalie will see you out. Gabriel's actions as Hogmaw have put the lives of Adrian's friends, including Ladybug, at risk. Adrian may hold his father responsible for the harm caused to those he cares about, making forgiveness a challenging prospect. Gabriel has repeatedly manipulated Adrian's emotions and used his vulnerability to further his selfish goals. Gabriel, being the overbearing parent he is, decides everything his son will do and determines how his daily activities are meant to be. In the episode The Bubbler, Adrian's friend Nino intends to throw a birthday party for him as Adrian has never had a birthday party thrown for him. Nino takes permission from Adrian's father. Gabriel not only refuses that the party not be thrown, but he also goes ahead and calls Nino a bad influence on Adrian, causing a stir of emotion on Nino's part, leading to his akumatization. Gabriel prioritizes his hopes of getting Emily back over his son. Adrian has lived most of his life trying to please his father Gabriel, to the extent that he doesn't know what he wants for himself anymore. In the episode Wishmaker, the villain in a desperate attempt manages to hit Cat Noir and reveals that Adrian never had any inspirations as a child. He only wanted to be what his parents told him to be. Live your childhood dream! When I was a kid, I always wanted to be what my parents wanted me to be. Oh, my son! We all know Gabriel is barely around to spend time with his son. Still, he goes too far when he nearly misses celebrating Christmas with Adrian in the episode Santa Claus. Being the first Christmas without his mother, Adrian is sad and at the same time angry about his father's absence. He should be down here already. Did you call him? Perhaps we should give him a few more minutes. What's the point? Though Gabriel is feeling unhappy about spending Christmas without Emily, he also forgets that Emily was Adrian's mother and that this is also his first Christmas without her. Also in illusion, Gabriel threatens to take Adrian out of his school because Marinette and her friends tried to get upset Gabriel so he could be akumatized. Instead, Gabriel becomes aggressive toward Adrian and goes into a secret lair for transformation into Shadow Moth creating an illusion of himself being akumatized to trick Adrian's friends. Throughout the series, Adrian is always isolated. Whenever he came home, he was always sad. There were times he admired his friends and their relationships with their parents. Gabriel has shown a lack of emotional support and neglect towards Adrian. He prioritizes his ambitions over his son's well-being, leaving Adrian abandoned. Gabriel takes advantage of everyone. Gabriel is not hesitant to exploit anyone for personal benefit. He is continuously using the people of Paris to generate villains and even goes as far to engineer incidents to prompt strong negative feelings. In the episode Ladybug, he assists Lila in putting Marinette in a bad situation. When she accuses Marinette of cheating on an exam, Marinette loses the trust of everyone around her. That's not true! I never stole anything! My daughter is not a thief! Why should we believe any of this? You're accusing her without any proof! Therefore resulting in a negative feeling force, causing Gabriel to have multiple accommodizations. Verity Queen, Princess Justice. Gabriel has kept his identity as the supervillain Hawk Moth hidden from Adrian for a long time. Discovering that his father is the main antagonist responsible for the accumulations of Parisians could deepen Adrian's feelings of betrayal. Gabriel has shown little to no remorse for his actions, consistently prioritizing his goals over his well-being and those around him. Gabriel still doesn't regret the chance he missed to save Emily and end all of this chaos and revolution. Gabriel further puts himself in harm's way in the episode Destruction. He allows himself to get cataclysm by Cat Noir. Checkmate, Ladybug! 
Rukaki Unified! Forage! Help! I want to stay with you! For him to steal the ladybug's luck charm, the injury incurred from his careless choices begins to spread. But Gabriel doesn't stop there. He pushes himself to the limit in the episode Intuition, where he uses the snake miraculous, therefore speeding up the effects of his injury. Didn't you know using too many miraculous at once is dangerous? Gabriel doesn't consider his son Adrian liable to lose yet another parent. Though Gabriel's primary motivation is to bring back Emily, his wife, his ways of trying to achieve this are in no way noble. It's important to note that the storyline of Miraculous, Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir, is dynamic and the characters' relationships and motivations can evolve. As the series progresses, Adrian and Gabriel's dynamic may change, leading to potential reconciliation or a shift in their relationship. We hope to see the father and son relationship thrive. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to Bug Paws TV for more. Thank you.